Hi guys, John the Firearms Instructor and welcome back to our channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is John Johnson. I'm the owner and operator of a firearms training facility in beautiful Cape Coral, Florida. If you're one of our loyal subscribers, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate it. You guys are doing so awesome. We are so fortunate to have you guys. Today, our video is in regards to the women. We, we've got a very high level of men watching this channel. And you know what's funny is I do a lot of training here in Florida for women. And we just can't get these women to watch the video. So we're going to do a couple of videos this month on women-only things to kind of give you some uh, tips and tricks. So, if, gentlemen, if you know a lady who is uh, thinking about buying a pistol or doing or jumping in or your wife or whatever, have her watch this. I think it's going to help her tremendously. All right, so let's talk about 10 tips a woman should know before they even think about buying a pistol. And number one, you got to get what's your why. Why is the woman buying the pistol? Is she buying it for home defense? Is she buying it for carry? Is she buying it for range time? Is she doing all three? What's her story? Why is she now, right now, wanting to uh, start shooting? I'm glad she is, but we got to know why. We're going to get her the right pistol, you understand? Those little tiny pistols that they think they want, that's not going to be great for range time. And those big pistols that get their hands on and feel really great is not going to be a great pistol for carry purposes. So there are a lot of hybrid pistols in the world uh, right now. Sig, Smith, Taurus, Ruger, Glock. They all have a hybrid of some kind. That holds anywhere from 10 to 12 rounds. That's a 3.1 inch barrel. That's kind of where I'd recommend most people start with something that you could do range time, home defense, and carry all at the same time. So what's your why? After that point, online research. This, YouTube. You know, magazines, friends, families, find out what other women you know are what they're shooting and why are they shooting it. And that's going to help you tremendously understand that point. Third, I'm biased, but you got to get an instructor. Having your husband take you to the range is probably not the best choice. Uh, he loves you. An instructor doesn't love you. But he's going to come off a little bit more less aggressive than somebody like your husband because they love you, they want you to be safe, so it comes off a little more harsh when you make a safety violation. And safety violations are gonna happen. This is the most important thing. Firearms are truly not a deadly weapon. Uh, they are a tool, and the tool needs to be operated. And if you get that in your brain first, I operate the tool, the tool doesn't operate me, that's gonna help you tremendously. And this is what firearms instructor firearm instructors will do firearms instructor don't break you down they build you up they build your confidence looking for a couple good firearms instructor i know one he's in cape coral you can call us and we'll get you down here but it's a little far trip for you most of the people watching this are from not from florida they're all other states but if you're looking for a great way to find a good instructor hit all the gun stores in town and see what the gun stores are recommending for instructors. Most likely, if they're independent instructors, they're going to have their cards in all the gun stores. If a gun store has an instructor, that's probably a good idea too. But if you don't have the ability to do that, you can always go to the NRA, which we, I'm an NRA instructor, or you can go to the United States Concealed Carry Association, and they physically have instructors who could recommend to you by just putting your zip code in. Once you find those instructors' phone numbers or their businesses, go down and visit them. Go down and talk to them. You know, there's a guy coming out dressed like an army sergeant, and he's going to army sergeant you through this whole thing. Some people love that. Some people think that's the greatest way to train, and I'm not doubting that. And our men and women of the service get trained that way, and it works for them. But some people don't like being hollered at. So right now at this point in time in your career of shooting, you need to be coddled a little bit, and that's what a firearms instructor will do. Coddled with everything else, safety is paramount, most important. You're going to get beat up on that safety thing if you make too many mistakes. Great thing about women, they they want to be perfect on everything, so they're not going to make a safety violation very much. you know. So that being said, once you've got that, you need to know the range rules, the range etiquette, things like that. Uh, you know, Dress code. This is one of the, my pet peeves. I have women come here all the time. We tell them all the time, no sandals. Don't wear sandals. Don't wear flip-flops. Don't wear open-toed shoes. Don't wear an open blouse, tank tops, T-tops, uh, anything that's going to 
have a round that comes out of the gun, go places you don't want it to go. Those rounds are 800 degrees when they come out and they will burn you. So you want to make sure you dress appropriately. You don't need to dress with jeans and sweater and shirt. Dress comfortably, but remember, closed-toed, closed-toed shoes and a shirt all the way up to the neck. T-shirts, fine, ladies and gentlemen. And then after that point, you need to find a group, find a friend, find a family member, five, five girls that want to take the class with you. You know, here's what I'll tell you. I have had a lot of women that want to shoot together as a group, which is wonderful because you build confidence with a group. You learn better in a group setting. That's all wonderful, all great, everything else, but don't let them hold you back. You know that one, right? Or the two. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Six months later, you're still waiting to pick a date, pick a time. If you're wanting to do this, you're wanting to pull the trigger, excuse the pun, get it done, ladies and gentlemen. Firearms instructor will help you uh, get your girlfriends, take the class together. You'll learn a lot more with a group than you will singularly, right? Because everything I give someone, they get about 30% of Because stress and everything else like that. When you're in a group setting, you may get 40 to 45 to 50%. You've got to be able to put different pistols in you. I'm not talking about shooting different pistols. I'm talking about putting pistols in your hand. And probably the best thing to do is go to a local gun store, Put this hand in your hand, that in your hand. After you do your research, you should have it down to about three, maybe four, maybe five pistols. I'll give you, I'll give you my five right now. Smith & Wesson EZ. Easy racket, easy loading. Smith & Wesson Equalizer. Now, I, you know I'm a Smith guy, so those are the two I'm going to tell you right about. Glock makes a 43 x Nice piece. Trigger's a little rough, but it's a nice piece. Taurus makes a... G3 and a G2, those are great pieces. The uh, Hellcat from Springfield, the SIG 365, I mean, Ruger makes the Ruger Max, the EC9S, these are all top of the name, good companies without getting too far into the weeds. Those are three or four or five that you could probably get yourself into that would be all right for you. Once you've done that, once you've got it down to like three or four that feel good in your hands, now you got to get someplace and shoot them. Now, that firearms instructor we talked about earlier, like here we offer the Try Before You Buy. Try Before You Buy gives you five pistols out front. We take you in the back here. We let you shoot them. You tell me which one you like. you got to find some place that will let you do this. If not, it's kind of hard for you to know what you're doing with a firearm. That's why firearms instruction is up top not down below because you not you get to know how to shoot a gun before you try be, try a gun once you know your grip and your stance your trigger control your sight picture sight alignment then you can take a firearm in the back and be confident enough to know what the difference is between the three or four and you want to know the secret of the differences between all the pistols the trigger glock's triggers tougher stiffer smith and west's triggers are easier um the ruger's triggers a soft pull to a wall, Smith & Wesson Shield Plus all the way to a wall. Anything past that point is going to cut. And each weapon seems to be the same, but the trigger is the difference. And what? why does trigger manipulation make such a difference? Because when you're engaging that trigger, you want to bend those wrist. Ladies, you can't bend your wrist. You've got to uh, shoot the gun with a stiff wrist, drive that gun out with your dominant hand, and pull back with your dominant hand, which will allow your weapon, your, your back muscles to kick in. And that's the best way. And a good firearms instructor will tell you all that stuff. I want to talk about caliber choice. We did, we don't. This list is kind of all over the board, but caliber choice is important. What you're looking for mostly is you're looking for something that's available, something that's not costly, something that doesn't have a huge recoil, something that will do it. What does that mean? I'll give you a hint. If I took a milk jug and I filled it full of water, and I shot it with a 22. It's going to poke a hole in that milk jug. Not going to blow the milk jug up to pieces. But if I did the same thing with a 380, a 9, a 40, a 45, that milk jug would go to pieces because the pressure of that bullet hitting the water, it's got a lot more kinetic energy in it. So can you shoot a bad guy with a 22 and win? Of course you can. Is the 22 your best option for concealed carry or for home defense? Absolutely not. Unless that's the only thing you can shoot, you got bad recoil. Let me tell you, ladies, you can control any weapon a man can control once you learn to use your back muscles 
It's, we call it wrist and booty. It's, it's reaching out, driving that gun out, pulling back, getting your muscles in and getting your butt out just a little bit. You'll control that weapon. And then once you've made all those decisions, it's time to buy. And now you've made a confident decision of a gun you're going to buy. The problem with buying a pistol, because it's pink, only reason why you bought it because it's pink and it matches your eyes or whatever you want to say, at that point in time, you're stuck with that pink gun, whether you like it or not. No take backs, no refunds. If you take it back, guess what? You lose a large percent of your money on those firearms. But you got to make sure you're buying the right pistol. If not, that's an L. You know, L's not for love. L's for loss. And when you return a gun because you don't like it, it's an L. This is why I always tell men, men, do not buy your wife a pistol. Make sure she knows how to load it, unload it, and knows how to shoot it. It's imperative. And last but not least, guys, range time. Can't buy a pistol. I bought my pistol. I'm ready to go. But you don't know. You haven't spent any time. Because remember, everything with a firearm is diminishing. There's a, you can't give a firearm 100%. Your foundation starts your feet and goes all the way to your hands, if you think about it. And you can't hold 100% on both hands with a firearm. So there's a lot of stuff you need to know. Shooting's not complicated. It's complex. And there's a lot of stuff that you need to know. Because remember, in a high-stress situation, you're going to fall back to your weakest training. So just keep that in mind, guys. This is a... This is just my list. This is stuff I do on a regular basis when I talk to women here. Uh, I hope this helps you a little bit. I'm very proud of you for making the decision to pull the trigger. <laughs> I meant that pun that time. Pull the trigger and become your first line defense. Guys, if you love what we do here, and you do, don't forget to hit the bell icon, the, I, the like button, and the subscribe. And every time we upload a video you'll be the first to know. Don't forget about our lives on Tuesday night. Every Tuesday night at 6 o'clock, we go live here for an hour and talk about whatever we need to talk about. Mostly it's about firearms training, the tip of the week, maybe a firearm review. Uh, you guys can give us some opinions what you're looking for. That'll be helpful uh, for us down the road. And guys, don't forget we are uh, monetized right now to a point. We're not, we don't do ads yet. But once you get over 3,000, the store opened up. So you look at the videos down here. There's some store stuff down there, shirts, T-shirts, things like that, cups. And then we do offer the supers and things like that. If you enjoy what we do and you want to help us out and support us, a small family-owned business through the YouTube journey, I would truly appreciate it. Until next time, guys, God bless, be safe, and remember, you are your first line of defense, folks. I love you. Good night.